I doing? This your girl, Kendra. Um, I know I've been gone for a while. I haven't been uploading any videos, but for now on out, I am. And also, I'm going to look for a camera. <laughs> but I might just continue on my phone. I don't know. Depends. I have a camera. But I want a camera where I won't have to hold. I just attach it. I seen the smack, uh, Snapchat minis. They're not good. So don't try to buy those. Those little piece of crap. Literally. So, um. Yeah. So now I'm going to go pick up this load at the yard and head to Bakersfield, California. I would do my trip planning once when I get to the yard so I show y'all everything that I need to do before I start rolling. So, I'll see y'all there. Do my roundabout. Make sure the lights are working. Up there. Right there. All the hoses checked in. Turn the reef on. Make sure that's locked. As you can see, it is. Lights are flashing. Hmm. Dolly up. It's on full, you can't hardly see it. Lights flashing. Tires are good. Light. Lights flashing. Lights flashing. Light is good. Top lights are good. Tires are good. Lights flashing. Reef are going. I can see I just came home from home time so nothing's put up so uh about to go ahead Whew, I did my pre-trip let's look at the load so picking up at USD C Denver taking it in the Nestle Go to details, it's live load. It's 1,032 miles. Piece is supposed to be 1,896. Weight, 33,900. So, let's go to notes. That's all the information I need to give them. Driver must ask for a safety vest when at the guard shack before entering Nestle. I already have a safety vest, so I don't need it. So the pickup time was at 6, but it doesn't matter. 
and the drop-off time is at 12:30 on the 9th. Let's go here. Today's the six, so I have the seventh and the eighth to run, and half of the ninth. And today, if they get reloaded early, so I'm only ten miles away. Yeah, I'm only 10 miles away. So, go ahead and get there. planning while I'm getting loaded so y'all gonna see that They won't load me today because I'm late, which the company made me late because they gave it to me at the last minute. Life of trucking, so I'm waiting for her to give me a load. Been waiting. Went into Best Buy, got me a new camera so y'all can see what's going on in the trucking world. I'm going to play with it. So, and I got me a fan. <laughs> Truck driver's USB fan. Okay. Let me show it to y'all. USB cord. So let's hook it up and see. How do you turn it on? You can't. Because you need batteries. So I need to go to Walmart and get some batteries. And I will tell you how it works. If I can snap the shit back on. Huh? But yeah, this is how small it is. No, you don't need batteries. <laughs> never mind. You don't need no damn batteries. That's if you don't want to use the USB. Okay, you don't need batteries. But it's blowing pretty good. Keeping me pretty warm. You know, you be at those um, shippers and receivers, and they be saying, um, you're not allowed to run your truck. Yeah. So, got the little small one. I feel good feel real, real good yeah it can hang like this or you can fold it all types of ways or you can just snap it back in have it like that and be cha mm -hmm. I heard he had no money mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Cha. Cha, cha, cha. I'm just playing. So, yeah. It's called the Honeywell. It's from Honeywell. And 
the support of a photo fan. So I hit y'all back, okay? That's her right now. Stuck in traffic. I'm going to the TA. My load, they rescheduled the load for 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Yes, I'm going to California still. And I'm going to TA, so I fill up in the morning. Get rolling only eight miles away from the TA. That's about it. And but my current situation right now looks crazy. Yeah. And no one wants to tell me what's going on. Drivers, male drivers. So uh yeah, and I'm still working out this camera, so Give me a minute. And yeah. I will show y'all more. Goodbye. So I completed my truck. <laughs> it's clean. So yeah. It's clean. Wait. Let me turn on the light. Everything's clean. I think put up. Got my TV here. I'm gonna be watching movies tonight. About to go get some sour cream and stuff. Sour cream and cheese and start dinner. Y'all see that? So um, I got a list of videos that I'm going to do. So I'll be looking out for that and other stuff. So I'll see y'all later on tonight. All right, go ahead and get started. <laughs> Sorry. On this, um, let me turn this this way. On this tacos. Soft tacos. Yeah, let's get it started in here. So, what I'm about to do is put the chicken in. So let me open it. So I'm about to put that chicken in there. So as you can see, I got the chicken. Squeeze it to break it up. Ooh. Yes, I wash my hands. So y'all can go ahead with that. All right. I ain't gonna put in a corner in this today. I don't feel like it. So there you go. Broke up the chicken. So. Next y'all. Ooh, that's my boobs. <laughs> I know my face expressions look crazy. So uh, next is chopped green peppers and onions so turn back around get this open oh, that's what it looked like inside let's pour some on in here That's enough. I'll put a little bit more. Hold on. Okay. So, this, what's left, can be for my, uh, for my soup tomorrow. Yeah, can be for my soup tomorrow. So you put chicken in there and all that. I went to Country Pride and got me a salad. I mixed it up. So I'm about to mix it with red onions, cheese, and some lettuce, and some bell peppers. I mean some green jalapeno peppers. 
and I'm mixing it up. So when my meat and my onions and my green peppers are done, I can go ahead and finish. So, y'all wait one second. I'm trying to figure out where's my taco season. I know I hit. Did I put it up somewhere? I kind of forgot where I put my taco season at. So, I'll be right back with y'all, okay? Okay, I found out I ended up putting a dag on refrigerator. My dumb retarded cell. So, I'm about to open this up. I'm about to put a little bit in there. How to do this with one hand, honey? I should do this with my other camera. So I'm about to sprinkle, 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 and sprinkle one more time. So I got a lot left. So, uh, I'm about to stir this up. So let me get a fork. A spoon, whatever. A knife. Something. I know this ain't the best video ever. But hell, I'm learning. Later down the line, I'm going to get better. Excuse me. So I'm about to stir this up. And I'm going to let it cook. This have its own temperature. So I'm going to let it cook for about, i say 20 minutes. It'll be done. 20. <laughs> 20 minutes. And then I'm going to cook these, let it get soft a little bit. A little bit brown you know you know these and I see you in and reminder always storage your leftovers because you can use them for the next dinner when you go grocery shopping try to plan your meals and try to get packages of stuff like onions and green peppers and you can make meals for two days like I have enough for my meal next tomorrow tomorrow I'll be having tomato soup and I can add green peppers and onions you know mm -hmm. so uh yeah plan your meals make two days with the same ingredients but different types of meat and a different type of style and you be great. You be good. And you save money on top of that. Instead of buying a whole bunch of stuff and then all of a sudden you don't cook it. And it spoils inside your um truck. You don't want that. You don't want that. So, uh, yeah. And this lunchbox saves a cleanup. Because <laughs> you're using these throwaway things. So, the lunchbox. Sometimes I cook in my slow cooker, so I have a slow cooker cleanup bag. So, I won't have to clean the whole slow cooker. You know. So, buy you storage bags. Storage bags save your life. Yeah. So, that's the tip in cooking. Okay? Plan two days of what you're going to cook. Make sure you get your ingredients for those two meals. Vitamin packages like like these that way 
you won't be spending a lot of money on bull crap that you ain't gonna eat. So yeah, don't buy a whole bunch of meat, and all of a sudden they spoil you inside your um, cooler because these coolers don't work like refrigerators unless you got a lot of money to go buy a refrigerator that work like that and then an inverter and then all that bull crap. You don't want to do all that. Do it the way I do it. Budget. You know? All right. Let me stop rambling. Let me hook up this TV. Okay, this is done. <laughs> Y'all can see. I'm done. So I'm going to turn this around. Oh, Lord. Get this napkin. I wish I had the table in this truck. So take this out. Get some aluminum foil. Fold it. Place it in here. And get your soft tacos. stuck so I got one put it in here and two I put it in here to make it soften let they heat up as you can see put it in there like that let it heat up say about like five minutes so I'm gonna take this open it pour the chicken in there I know some of y'all going like well you just have a taco salad I don't want no damn taco salad <laughs> so Close it. Close it. Make sure it's tight. And stir it around. So yeah, that's how it'll be. Open this now. I move stuff out in my deck on way. Oh ta da! I got my sour cream. I don't use taco sauce. I don't like it. So, take this, spread it, get a napkin. Place it over it. There you go, you have a bow. <laughs> Get a ways, baby. Get a ways. I lived homeless for a while. I know how to live. So I think my tacos are soft. Let's check. Yeah, they soft enough for me. 
and put this right here so yeah see if this can stand it let me use this come on child Got this, some lettuce, some chicken, get some more chicken out of here. Scoop that in there. Get some chicken and scoop it. I hope this is not a cold kitchen on because I do not, I can't afford it. I'm gonna be driving with a damn cold. Here we go. <laughs> and some tea. Well, thank y'all for watching. I'm about to charge my phone so I can watch a movie on my TV. And everything else. I'm gonna put some sour cream on this. And baby, it's about to be delicious. All in this tummy. And then for lunch, I can have this too. It's called prioritize leftovers. <laughs> what you know about that? But uh, y'all have a safe one. Bye.